Hi, so today we are going to study about principles of copywriting. Before you make your career in writing, it is very important to know what are the principles of copywriting. The very first principle of copywriting is use attention grabbing headline. So your headline should grab the attention of the readers in order to make them continue reading. The second most important thing is expand the headline with the lead paragraph. Now once you have written a well crafted headline, now the job is to make a nice lead paragraph. So the lead paragraph is mostly called as an introductory paragraph. When uh, you meet somebody, you introduce yourself, you introduce uh, you know the things that you do. Similarly, when you are writing a blog, you need to introduce your topic. So that is the lead paragraph. The third most important thing is draw the reader in. Now, after you do this uh, headline and uh, lead paragraph, it is very important that you draw the reader in. You keep it his, his or her attention in your blog. Next, focus on the reader, not on the product. I know most of us, when we write something, we are mostly into promoting something. Either it could be a product or a service. But it is very important that you also focus on the reader, the likes of the reader. Maybe the reader wants to know uh, something very interesting uh, that may not actually be connected to the product. But if you, you know, satisfy him by, you know, uh, sharing with him some interesting facts or figures, then he might make the decision of purchasing your product or service. So you need to keep a balance of both. Next is use the that's right principle. So when you write something, the instant reaction of the reader should be, oh yeah, that's right. So that is very important. When you like something, you always say, oh yeah, that's right, that's true. So that, you know, uh, psychological reaction should come in. The next is ask provocative questions. So you should always ask questions for which the answer would be yes. So when you ask questions like, uh, won't you be, uh, you know, influenced by the service, by the product, you know, something like this. Won't your life change after using this product? So something like this that would make them say yes and indeed, you know, they might end up uh, buying your product. The next is move quickly from intro to the pitch. So once you have, you know, written the introduction, it is very important to move to the pitch. Like pitch is the sales part like why have you written this content the main idea behind writing this content so maybe you want to tell the audience that you know they might uh, you know wh whatever the benefits would be the usp of the brand the features you need to you know uh, showcase those points the benefits the usp and uh, how uh, you know cost effective the product is whatever would be your uh, you know agenda you need to talk about that after your introduction then you need to be very sincere you cannot just blabber you cannot just uh, you know uh, just say whatever is in your mind you need to be very sincere if you know that this is tr this is the truth you need to continue saying that or else you don't have to just exaggerate further Next is uh, don't contradict yourself. So uh, maybe you might be saying something in the in your uh, con content and then that might not be true in reality. So you're basically contradicting your content with the reality. So that should not be the case. Next is keep your focus aligned. Now if your focus is on uh, you know making brand awareness, that is your main focus. So just focus on that. Just don't go on the sales part. See, basically when we start writing, uh, we have different focus in our mind. Maybe it could be brand awareness. Maybe it could be brand loyalty. So you need to know your focus and keep it aligned. The next is make your product irresistible. Now, if you see, for example, McDonald's or any leading brand, they make their product irresistible. Like it is so delicious that they might end up grabbing it and, you know, eating it. So similarly, when you are showcasing a product, the uh, audience should be like, wow, why is the product not with me yet? Let's order the, order the product, you know. So that should be the main, uh, you know, case. Next is use fear as motivation. Now in certain products where um, other emotions don't work, 
you can always use fear as motivation now giving the example of the recent pandemic crisis uh, when you're promoting a product like sanitizer you're also showcasing the fear of getting infected by the viral disease so that is something you can showcase in your content if your content is in that line next is flattery will get you everywhere you need to flatter a bit not too much but you need to flatter like you need to speak something in such a way that you know there should be that wow factor like wow this is something i need to have